confront you will mostly find with protestants christians and the best ways talk about fundamentals you will see that their you know ground will be taken away under their feet and they will trip and fall with all proclamations of holy spirit inside them fundamentals i say and my challenge is open from my platform to any christian i don't go for vipism i don't go for those credentials i say bring any christian who is dare to talk to the fundamentals of christianity i don't want to talk about any other things don't try to turn the tables because you're helpless you apologetics you started this apology from the dawn of the christianity islam has nothing to apologize whatever islam says it says on the rock foundation of everything concrete foundation and you cannot shake any pillar of islam i'm telling you with your logic with your understanding yes fools you can keep barking against day and night and you can try to just show people that oh you see i find faults in islam and well you say apparently you find faults in islam but trust me logically rationally you know that christianity is not right you know in your heart every pastor knows that christianity is not true you know in your heart but what would you do those donations those politics those you know what you call a uh, papacy going on for thousands of years how would you convince those people who died i'm asking this so that's why it's not hard i can understand i have full empathy as well as sympathy for you guys i go pity on you but on the grounds of rationalism you know that christianity has no grounds talk about trinity you never be able to explain till now talk about divinity of christ you just start you know ram fumbling fumbling here and there oscillation talk about original sin you don't know where it originated from start about is the bible's god word full of contradictions after contradictions you not be able to prove it nothing on and on i said for example then original sin jesus god is the bible god's word trinity crucifixion the crux of the matter the most fundamental point in christianity crucifixion you know that crucifixion the exhibits are not matching with one another you know that your pastor knows it the critics of bible knows but what would you do as i always say if you remove paul says if christ has not risen from the dead our pre preaching is vain our religion is vain meaning you have nothing to do if you are unable to prove that jesus christ really was resurrected if you can't prove it your game is finished you see every religion try to sell the point come to islam islam has no ambiguity your bible says that god is not the author of confusion but droves after droves christianity are getting in confusion and they are plunging into the so psychological issues we call it cognitive dissonance cognitive is the mental ability of human beings how they behave to the particular notions if this to go if this thing go beyond understanding rationalism you just plunge into dissonance confusion so somehow you try to convince yourself inner deep figments okay fine this is what it is now I, that's all i am i'm going to follow that this is what you call cognitive dissonance islam has no place for that islam is it clear from the beginning there is one god and he is sending his representatives on this planet whosoever follow the guidance and that particular representative he is going to heaven you pay for your own price but god is very big to forgive you keep coming again again he going to keep forgiving you it's a reality perfection he doesn't want you to become angels he wants you to be to do sin but also repent some sins if you do with your fellow brethren you kill him you try to do something bad you have to pay the price in this dunya but for hereafter allah knows that he going to forgive you or not but if you die in the state of associating partners with god calling his his creature that he is the creator or associating partner with any means there is no forgiveness for you and this is the main notion from the beginning from adam alayhi salam till the prophet muhammad peace be upon him what confusion in there what is the rocket science is there rocket science is this when you try to say that jesus was god and he came down to this earth and still you do not understand what trinity is wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin